The Let's talk about a mini World Cup 2025 that's going to be corrupted by corporate greed and somehow massacred and butchered for American fans. And I'm talking specifically about Gold Cup 2025. So they're talking about a 2014 format, basically a warm up for the World Cup. It's going to be played in all of the cities that the 2026 World Cup is scheduled to be in. There's going to be 16 teams from CONCACAF, two from Europe, two from South America, two from Asia and two from Africa. This is not finalized. This is just a proposal. But what do we think? What do we think about this potential new Gold Cup? I'm here for it. I think it's exciting. Uh, I think it's going to get us everything that we've been complaining that the U.S. doesn't have. Competition against other teams. Um, really just a... Uh, we're going to get vibe checked. CONCACAF is about to get fucking vibe checked. And I think it is a necessity here and i i honestly can't wait you know there's a lot to be said about um you know keeping you know maybe the copa america the copa america and keeping the uh you know the euro cup the euro cup but i don't know the gold cup isn't tenured like that we we need something like this to come and shake things up um and to uh to put some value in here we need yeah. these guys to to fight for it because it's you know, everything's, you know, we, we take it for granted, I guess. And it's going to be nice that uh, some guys are going to come in here and scare the shit out of granted. the United States. The Gold Cup. The fact that, you know, the United States were like, okay, we're probably going to be in the final. Unacceptable. Unacceptable that that's how we go into the tournament. Yeah. That's why the tournament is still shit. We need somebody to come in here, absolutely beat that ass, and win it on our soil to light a fire under our asses and you mentioned this ass beating and vibe checking the u.s and mexico and canada those guys egos are still running rampant for some odd reason after the world cup <laughs> um they've got to invite the right teams that's key yeah. they can't invite the dog uh they can't invite the dog doo-doo of the world you know, like I better not see like Belarus coming to the Gold Cup 2025. We're gonna see Montenegro make it in. We're gonna like, be like we got that'd two be cool. Teams. But I better not see the U.S. play Vatican City FC in Houston. That'd Damn be dope. Straight. But on the flip side, do we want to only bring elite teams? No, you I get a good think mixture. it's got to be a good mixture and it's got to be of the same level as CONCACAF. I think that there's got to be maybe one or two like... CONCACAF's Belarus level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're not that bad. Con CONCACAF is Belarus level. They're not the that bad. The other teams outside the top four, yes, they are. Okay, yes. If Jamaica plays Belarus five times, how many games do they win? Two? That would be a good know. betting odds in Vegas. Shit, right now, yeah, probably two. Is Panama beating Norway? I don't think so. That well, Norway's different. They didn't make the World Cup. Didn't make the Euros. But they're still Nor different. Scrubs. Yeah, but Norway but got a still different soldier. European scrubs. Yeah, European. What you call it? I believe you call them dog doo doo. I think they'd be considered a dog doo doo team. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. How can I they not be them. dog doo doo and they haven't qualified for okay. the last? five major tournaments gentlemen gentlemen there's a simple solution that you're not seeing here okay we get one big team and one little team from each division um i think it'll be more even once you get to uh uh like the the asian nations and the african nations um i feel like the talent is more consistent across the board there but south america you can find um like, I don't know if we'd invite like a Brazil, but I think Chile would be a good team to invite as well as maybe Colombia. If it's not Brazil and Argentina, I don't fucking want any country from South America. I'm sorry. Brazil and Argentina. Guess who's taking on that? the trophy? You, this is me being don't... sarcastic. But... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still would be cool. It would, oh, it would be dope. Don't get me wrong. What but you know what's going to happen is Brazil and Argentina are going to send their under 20s over there. <laughs> Either that or Messi's going to show up just to be like, fuck it, why not? Yeah. I want a gold cup in yeah. my cabinet before I retire. Right. Yeah. How That's... fucking hilarious would that be? That's a good point. There needs to be a contract that states you are not allowed to participate unless you send your senior team. Because otherwise, we're just wasting our time. And we might as well just, 
we might as well just like do the traditional gold cup. If we're playing the Ecuador U twenty threes, yeah. we're just wasting everybody's. So time. bottom line, there needs to be a fine balance, and I can't believe the U.S. Federation is gonna or the the U.S. Federation. Sorry, uh, I can't believe Concacaf is gonna take it upon themselves to try to organize this in a good fashion and we're going to just trust them to get this right. Yo, if, if, if Ecuador goes in 2025, if Ecuador gets the right coach these next couple of years and they go in 2025, they're going to win the fucking gold cup. <laughs> well, it depends on who, who the Europeans. There's a lot that would have to go Ecuador's way. If they're going to win the gold cup. I'm just saying there's, there's a shit ton of talent. That would there. be so, so cringe. For Concacaf, if they can't even win their own, they're not going to. They're not going to. They're not going to. If the other teams take this seriously, and if we don't invite Belarus and Finland, they're not going to. It would be the okay. Let me let me put it like this: If you sent two strong dele- delegates from every single confederation, and a Concacaf team still won, I don't care if it's Canada, I don't care if it's Mexico, I don't care if it's the United States. This is now officially the most impressive piece of silverware that either of those teams have ever won. Yeah. It's better than Mexico's Confederations Cup, 100%. U.S., what the hell, they got like a bronze at the Olympics or something? I I don't know. And Canada's never won anything. They got fourth at the 1930 World Cup or third or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV wasn't a thing yet. I'm not interested. Um. No, I think Canada won a North American. They have one gold cup and a couple North American championships or something. Point is, it would be the biggest achievement in CONCACAF history to win this tournament. Likewise, if the, if a CONCACAF team wins the 2024 Copa America, it will also be the biggest achievement in CONCACAF footballing history, given no CONCACAF team has ever won. Mexico's gotten close twice, but they've never won. So, and I'm going to ask another a follow-up question to this. Is the priority winning... Or is it priority experience? Experience. Okay. For me. The priority is the World Cup. Okay. I, I could give a fuck about the Gold Cup. I'm in love with you. The, the actual, priority, yeah. yeah, like actually winning silverware, I feel, should not matter. But experience against subpar teams... I guess, like, can you truly chalk that up as experience? The right experience that's for very the World true. Cup. That's very true. And that's why the invi- the invitationals are the invitees, the guests. I mean, you, you have to put a lot of stock in that. You have to you have to get these teams interested. And, and you can't let them send their under-20s, you know? It will make or break this proposal. I feel... Most countries will want to send their senior guys. I mean, I haven't really looked out to see what's what other tournaments would be going on in 2025, but most I've countries gone. would yeah, most most countries would want to send their most senior guys for the publicity in the states. I feel like that's a very valid and true statement. Very yeah. valid and true. I don't know yeah. about that. A, it's a, a decent statement with a drop of validity. I feel it, like these guys are already popular in the States. I mean, what? Is Neymar going to show up and some kids can be like, oh, that, that guy there, looks like a good There are the upper echelon of teams. We're talking like top 10 like teams in the world where, okay, these guys have already reached world stardom. But I was thinking maybe like Serbia. Japan, Japan possibly. Okay. If in that respect, I agree. That would be super dope. Yes. So, to, to go off your app, your uh, same you just said, it sounds like from what I'm reading that the best African teams will not be allowed to go because they will be participating in AFCON, which either means, look, I don't know what this looks like, but either one, we have to call over two African teams that didn't qualify for AFCON, yeah. which there's always like, one or two decent ones, but they're never like what you want, right? Like we could have gotten no. see last year's edition was like South Africa was like a big team that didn't yeah. make it, you know, but 
that's not obviously what we want. Or no, not at all. if AFCON is maybe like a month before the Gold Cup during like the same summer or a couple weeks, hypothetically, maybe a team gets eliminated in the group stage and then can go over to the Gold Cup. That or sounds like send logistically their team. impossible. Yeah, it like does. a mixture of A and B team guys. Yeah, yeah, they could send a. I, not I, I bet they prioritize the Afcon though. They, That's a they big will. deal over there. Yeah, I don't know. It it, it would be great to see uh, uh, Morocco at the Gold Cup. Um, we're we're just gonna have to gauge interest. We're gonna have to see what the money's looking like. Um, because that's going to be the main incentive for these guys. Because at the end of the day, the players, the coaches, the staff don't give a fuck about this trophy. Nobody cares about the trophy. It's all about the incentives, you know? The staff at, at the different invitees? Yes, yes, at the invitees, yeah. You think they don't care? You don't think they want to come over in here and win? No, I don't. Maybe you could convince a coach to do it, but like... Think think about these players. Like if you if you look at a team like Morocco, how are you going to convince those guys to come over? How are you going to convince them? Hey, this is worth your time. Money, I guess that's silverware, a bad warm cup, World Cup warm up. I think there's a lot of reasons. I, I don't think so. Not not in America. They're going to look at this. They're going to be like 16 Concacaf teams. Wow. They're going to be like, who do they get in Europe? The Europeans are going to be like, who do they bring from South America? Okay, Every, what, this, about, this what about Algeria like, comes over with Morocco? You don't think the Moroccans are looking across the plane like, fuck those guys, we're going to we're gonna win this goddamn tournament? The Nigerians? That'd the Moroccans. Oh, the, oh, no, no, Al- the, Algerians. Algerians. Oh, Algerians, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah you don't think be... they see the Spanish come over and they're like, we're going to beat that ass again? That'd I disagree. Think I think if a professional football. Somebody like Spain? Yeah. I think we could. Maybe we could get Spain. Maybe they're looking for a warm up outside of you know nations. Um, You'd be foolish not to. I I don't know. I I feel like it's going to be a I'm not joining unless they're joining sort of thing. Like who all's going in the group chat? You know, like they're, set up a night out and they everybody wants to know like what's the vibe here because this nobody cares about the gold cup. And there will be teams that do that. I bet. There's without a doubt in my mind. There's, there, there, there's going to be an element like. of that, of of where they they question who's going and what 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 sort of pedigree and what sort of level that they're playing at. That is probably true, but I think it's all negated by money, and I think the only federation that is wealthy enough to not care that much are the European teams. But I guarantee you, Morocco. Their president is not going to give a shit what his players think. If the United States writes them a pretty check, they're getting on the plane and they're touching down in Cincinnati, yep. whether they want to or not. They're playing that <laughs> first game in Minneapolis, guys? baby. Oh, my Dude, God. Every South guys... American Federation is broke. They're all coming over here. I don't care who it is. Yeah, you know what? Ecuador's, Ecuador's going. Ecuador's broke. Going. They want to afford Gareca. They come to the Gold Cup. Yes, correct. They get paid 15 mil to participate or 10 mil, whatever it is. They come over. I'm just pulling that number out of my ass. I have no idea how much invitees get paid. But the U.S. is going to have that kind of money. Yeah. Also, that's a big morale boost. You come over here to a warm-up World Cup and you win, and you got to beat, what, like a Brazil in the semis and then maybe a Portugal in the final? That's a big W. That looks That's a big W for the players. They get a trophy. That's a big W for the manager. He's bringing honor and pride to the country. He has something on his CV. I think it's a big deal. I think it's like a Confederations Cup, which teams took mildly seriously, but multiplied even. I just don't know if we can lock down Portugal, Brazil. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if I see it. I somewhat agree with Portugal. I am 100% convinced that Portugal or Brazil are offered. They're coming without a doubt because they don't have a, they don't have a choice. Unless they get invited to Afcon, which I, you I don't think see that, that down bad. I think they like money, and I think they need money. All right, that's fair. Yeah, to and afford it's another the, uh, chance Carlo to play on a big stage. Appointment. Yeah, another chance to play on a big stage with their big egos. But Brazil have one and medal big in time. a while. Yeah, 
or did they win the Olympics? They did win the Olympics against Spain. So they got two medals recently. They got the Copa America in 2024 and the Gold Cup in 2025 to do something before the next World Cup. I think if I'm Brazilian, given the fact that they've been moderate failures in recent memory, I'm going for that. I'm trying to win both. Failures in accordance with their talent level. Yes. 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 With their expectation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which are sometimes unrealistic. But I that's... think I, I think that we're underestimating the ego of some of these teams a little bit. But I agree. I would definitely go. I personally, I'd be like, you're getting your ass on that plane. I don't give a fuck if it's your sister's birthday, your cousin's birthday. Neymar, get your ass on that plane before I shave your damn head. But for the, let me ask you, for the teams that would say no, what's their alternative? A friendly against Bosnia. Like, they don't have anything to do. Otherwise, Brazil's playing another friendly against Paraguay if they don't go. They don't, some of these teams don't need anything to do. I mean, I, they don't, they don't think they do, you know, like I, I just can't really see it. Like, I just don't see these big teams like England or France or Germany wanting to come over and to spend the time playing in this tournament. It just doesn't seem right to me. They're going to treat it like a, uh, a summer tour, like the club teams do, mm. you know? I think they're going to not play mm. their best guys. They're going to throw people in for warm-ups. They're going to try alternatives. They're going to use it to scout young guys. Maybe they bring the senior guys over to comply with any contractual obligations, but I really don't see the guys playing big minutes. I think people are going to cycle their stuff around. Maybe we see people crash out early, but I, I, th I think it's going to be a Mickey Mouse tournament if we invite some of the bigger guys. you got to invite small guys who are hungry for the silverware, who have something to prove, like Ecuador, like a Colombia, like a Chile. These guys that are down bad and they want to come back. They want to prove something. You know, you can invite like you can invite a Poland. You can invite a Croatia. God Not that Croatia is small, but I think Croatia, they, they've got a lot to prove. They want to come over. They want to kick some ass. Croatia's U-20 team would destroy every CONCACAF team. Bring I it. don't know if Croatia's got a lot to prove. I think they've proven literally everything that they could prove. Except for winning. Three podium placements at the World Cup in the last five? It's yeah, but they silver definitely silver want to win to Connor's point. Server. Yeah, yeah, they definitely want to win. They definitely want to be able to prove that they could finish. Okay, so then by that logic, England's coming over. They haven't won anything. England might come over for the... Uh, I'd be fine with England. For the clout of beating the shit out of uh, the United States in their home turf, you know, the, the, the rematch. But I really don't think that they take it all that seriously. I mean, we could see it. Uh, it but they haven't won Southgate, anything either. With what Southgate and the lads did in the World Cup. But their quality... You're, you're not considering the ego of these players, the ego of their coaches and stuff. I, I really don't see Southgate. Southgate would be like, no, better that we stay over here and we play finals. against. Better that we stay over here and play against France and Germany. Or you can play against the team that potential the team that finished fourth place at the World Cup. The team that won the World Cup in Argentina, dude. You're and thinking Brazil. too much about this in in your in your head from your headspace. <laughs> These Europeans, they don't want to play against us. It is you're you're forgetting the Euro bias here. I feel like. I don't think I'm forgetting it. I just think if you're a team that hasn't won anything in decades, you're not going to be that picky. I just don't think they're going to come for for a fucking Gold Cup. Like that's that's not going to incentivize them. I think that they could come over here and they could play with, you know, Calvin Phillips and uh, you know Tammy Abraham starting. That They're brings up the some discussion: is, a, younger is an England B team better than a Poland A team? Yes. Is an England yeah. B team better than a Poland A team? I think yes. Like on paper? I think yes. And I think those England B guys are going to want to make a statement that I deserve to be in this goddamn lineup, and they're so going to try to win. Why do we make an exception for England's B team, but not like Germany's? Because I do think Germany would send their guys, their B team over. I think they would do that. I think a lot of these teams would send their B team over. 
depends on the team, though. It's case by case. Like, not every European B team is good. I'm not just scared South American if, we, team is if we get these big guys, we're going to see their B teams come over, you know, which a Brazilian B team, a French B team, an English B team, those are all horrifying teams. Nightmares for any CONCACAF matchup. Look, look in, in those situations, that would be good for us. So I welcome them. I, I just, I find it hard to believe that you're going to be able to get all the superstars together and convince, you know, Mbappe to come over here and play for a gold cup. I, I think normally I would agree if it was a normal gold cup and the two invitees were, or the one invitee was France instead of Qatar, like we did the last one. It's a B team for sure. But I think the proximity to the World Cup, the fact that it's also happening in the exact goddamn stadiums that France or Germany or Brazil could potentially win the next World Cup in, I think that all culminates in them taking it seriously. And I normally I, hope I would they do. agree. I, I hope they do, but I'm just I'm I just am feeling very That's pessimistic fair. about this. That's fair. You guys let us know in the comments if yeah. you think that the big teams will take it seriously because that is a concern. And I want to ask you guys, what two teams do you want to see? Let's start with Europe. If you're concerned that the, that the France and England, they're not going to care. They're going to look down on it. Fine. I think there's some validity to that. If that's if that let's take that as an objective truth, who do you guys want to see? What are the two the, teams? This is tough. Who do I think is who do I think would be the no, best no, no, no. invitees? Who, who, who would I personally? Yeah, and then you can make your case why. Because you like their players, because you think it'd be good practice, because they play a low block, whatever you want. European teams, let's go first. Uh, Croatia, so I can find that bad Croatian woman that was in the uh, <laughs> stands for them at the World Cup. So you can stalk her after the game? Miss Croatia? <laughs> no, 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 I'm playing. I, I would like to see Croatia there, uh, but not because of... Uh, not because of her. I I think that they're a solid team. That's good. Provide a legitimate threat. Um, but I do think that they're aging. So, you know, the CONCACAF teams would see the skill gap, but we might still be able to out perform them in regards to athletics. So I think that would be one of them. And then maybe like a Serbia. I think a Serbia would be awesome. Let's do it. It's a good shout. Okay. I would go, if I could pick two, I would go Italy and you dumb motherfucker. I'm going to say the Netherlands. The Netherlands. I'll go Italy and I'll go Germany. Okay. There's a lot of deep heritage with those countries, and I think that hopefully that'll help. True. Help awaken some of the football spirit here in the, here in the States. No, that's a... That's a valid point. That's a valid point. Obviously, if it was like France and Portugal, that'd be dope. But I I feel like the absolute cream of the crop is pretty unlikely. Um, let's move I on to South I America. Would ra- I would rather see Netherlands and, and, and Italy. I like that. I like that better than the French Portugal. Yeah. yeah. No, that, I asked you guys earlier if it's experience or winning. I think it should be pretty 50-50. Like, I think... These teams should look at the Copa America and they should look at the Gold Cup and Mexico, U.S. and Canada should all be trying to win. All of them. And that involves not inviting just the best goddamn teams that are in existence. Invite some of the best teams over here, but then you don't want to just get spanked. I think you want to lose. I don't think you want to get embarrassed. At least not both times. We're going to get embarrassed in the Copa when you play Uruguay in the quarters. You don't want to get embarrassed when you play Nigeria in the quarters. You know what I mean? Like you want to... We need to have some fucking team medal in one of them at least. You know yeah. what I mean? Just one team, one medal. If it's zero zero medals from all the four CONCACAF giants, I'm including Costa Rica in that, then we might as well just move the World Cup. Yeah, so, to somebody got to end up on the podium. Argentina. Somebody Somebody's got to get on the podium. podium. It, it, to save face for us all, somebody's got to end up on the podium. I think Italy and the Netherlands are the perfect level of teams that honestly on their day, Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. can all be. All of them. Costa Rica can probably beat them too. So I think that'd be that'd be a good level. Let's, let's do South America. What do you think for this one, Connor? 
fuck. Who would I like to see? Mm-hmm. Argentina. Okay. Argentina, Shocked. Argentina, Ecuador. Argentina, Ecuador. Who do I think is realistic? Ecuador, Chile. Or Ecuador, Colombia. Mm, that's what I was going to say. That's what I'll I had say, to actually. Ecuador, Colombia. I'll make it different and I'll say Colombia. I think they're going to get a Brazil over. I think they are too. You got to invite two dimes to the party. And then yeah. everybody else kind of follows suit, you know? Yeah, I think they're going to – they are they seem very likely to be on board with something like this. And the money, the money that they could generate from a, a Messi playing, in the, uh, you know, potentially his last international tournament in the United States. Oh. There's that angle too. I mean, that oh. would be crazy. That would jack up ticket prices like 5,000%. Right. And, and he declares for Inter-Miami – Literally, it the summer before. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Think about it. He's got that two would more years left in Europe. David Beckham, five D chess. Yes, it would be, and I think that that's be. what these people are capable of. You know, holy shit, that would that would be pretty epic. Honestly, I would respect that. Because what know do you what? mean these people? Yeah, what the hell? What do you mean these people? Yeah, Jake. That was you, said it, Connor. You said oh, these people. I mean, Dude, one the of your scum of the earth Argentines. One of y'all's audio is like, like I hear it moving, and like you're hitting the mic or something. Is that you, Jack? It is. Oh, maybe I grabbed the mic when I said that last statement. I see that bitch moving. Oh, you, yeah, you keep moving it around. I can hear it move. Oh, okay. Well, let me put it back down. Oh shit, that's gonna be. No, terrible. it's all right. It's okay. Anyways, bigotry aside. Um. I think Argentina is 1,000% happening. One, because they're broke. And two, because of, well, it's it's messy. And there's, there's a lot of Argentine interest here. I don't know if Ecuador is going to do it. I think if they get invited, they take it in a heartbeat. But I think it'll be more realistically like a Uruguay or Colombia. Again, Uruguay would be a good, fucking great one. It'd be a banger. And I think, honestly, I think all three, the big three in CONCACAF, could beat Uruguay. I think they could. In a home game, I think they could. Not saying they're favorites, but I don't think they get destroyed. Yeah, that'd be a good game. Not with the Uruguay that we saw at the World Cup. No, no, no. Not with them. And we got to see what they hire as the new coach and everything. That's going to change a lot, including yes. the U.S.'s new coach. We're going to talk about Mexico's coach at the time. I ain't got the energy for that right now. Let's just keep it pushing. Asian teams. I wonder if y'all can guess who I want to see come over. Can I go first? Yeah. Just so that I can have uh, some credit here. So I'm just not writing your coattails. Japan, Korea. Excellent. All right. <laughs> I did it. Crushed it. Boom. You know, I've been watching them Asian football channel. Shout out to my boy, Albert. <sighs> Shout out to my boy, uh, Kesuke Honda. Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. We just got canceled. Jesus Christ. Why? That was the worst bigoted pronunciation I've ever heard in my life. That was actually the greatest. What you thing want me I've to say, Kasuki Handa? Yeah, I would have been less offensive. I... No, that was that you was there it... was no accent. There was why no the hell he named after trying... motorbikes? <laughs> Do you think that those are going to be the two teams that show up? Jeremy? That little sucker certainly can go about forty cc. I don't think they get both of them. I think that's not very likely. I think the Koreans say no. You think the Koreans say no? I think the Koreans say no, bro. I talk to Albert often. I follow the Take Good Tavern on Twitter. It sounds like the Federation don't know what the hell they're doing, and they're a little stubborn. They just don't know what direction they're going into? No, I feel like they would get a preliminary invite. The Japanese would probably accept quickly. They'd demand more money. The U.S. would say, okay, thanks, but no thanks. They'd look down south. To the Aussies and go grab them. And honestly, wow, I think Japan and Australia would be better practice. Australia are very physical. Koreans are not. Koreans are very technical. So are the Japanese. The Japanese are just better at you, every part okay. of the pitch. Go ahead. Okay. No, that's that's a valid point. Yeah, we get against the Australians, another team that maybe, you know, they're just a very physical team. 
It's a rugby nation. It is a rugby nation. There. We need them over here. We do need them over there. We need to see how Tyler Adams stacks up against those uh, blokes with the uh, the mullets. Yeah. <laughs> I need it. to see Hefog try to finish a corner over Harry Sutar. I need to see Tim Ream try to defend a corner against Harry Sutar. That's a six foot five center back. Actually, it might be six six. If you guys we need to see if they can handle the band. Six seven, I thought. Is he six seven? That boy. Dude, I don't know. He looks good against league. Tottenham. Maybe he needs to be over there with Steven Adams. He needs to be on the front line like Peter Crouch. That's what he needs to be. But I don't know if that man got the foot eye coordination. But he is a good defender. He needs to be wrestling crocodiles. That's probably how he grew up. Crocky mine. Yeah, I'd be okay with Australia. Just I think for the one, for the men, for the reasons you mentioned, I I think it would be cool to get a Western Asian team from the Middle East. You want Mongolia? Iran. I don't want Mongolia. You want I'd be Iran? okay for Shion. I'd be okay with Iran. Um, I, yeah. dude, I just think the optics of having a Middle Eastern team over in the. Uh, <laughs> For the gold cup would be like there would be something skewed there like there's a lot more different factors other than uh than football that goes into that i feel like yeah the only yeah. team i see that being acceptable is Saudi probably Arabia. like no nah, i feel like lebanon like not controversial you know what i mean like no one's gonna get mad that the lebanese national team is coming over here the lebanese and then we invite the Israeli national team as the European invite. Yes. 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 Wow. And then we put them in the same group. And then <laughs> we play it in New York at the UN and we call it good. While, while we're at it, we just get a team of uh, all Catholics and then we just get like 15 lions. And we just throw them into a stadium. Yeah. And maybe we give the Catholics like Louisville. What is that? Solve? Something like that. What 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 international conflict are we trying to resolve with that one? I don't know. Didn't the Romans used to do that? I'm just saying, if we want to do like tournament style fighting, set something up for failure, we can just go straight to the source there. Well, one is solving peace in the Middle East. The other is just genocide. But what what does that solve? The... Who's saying that they're not going to break down there? What what is what is a football game going to solve? Well, you I was making I was making a joke. The result we're... of the fixture: if Israel wins three two. Gaza Strip. No, we uh, we we talked about this. It's got to be a seven game series. Uh, okay, no. fine. Seven game series. This is game one. <laughs> Fuck the Gold Cup. We're cutting it. We're getting these two nations in here. The Gaza Strip. It's going to be the Gaza Strip special pay per view. Forty nine ninety nine a game. Oh, Every sorry, geopolitical okay. conflict. We're just going to solve with the Gold Cup 2025. No, I got it. I got it. Every like okay, settlement okay. that they're fighting over right now. Every, like game one. Decides a certain settlement. So you pick the Ooh. top seven settlements or areas and you play yeah. for each of those areas. Because then think about it. You got to be strategic. Let's say the Gaza Strip is the most important, but that's game two. You might rest your stars in game one because you don't care if the Palestinians win that settlement and you have to uh, demolish it. You and you play saying? the you games every other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're not messing mm -hmm. around here. No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're definitely going to get canceled here, for sure. We are. You know who else okay. would get canceled? The the U.S., I think, if they brought over Iran. Yeah, correct. And Saudi Arabia. I think Saudi Arabia, you know, Joe Biden likes him a lot. Every president seems to really like him. So maybe uh, the government could step in and, you know, do a, do a nice PR campaign. We could see, you know, yeah. maybe Pulisic and Aldasari, they... I was going to say go to a pub, but he can't drink alcohol. They just go to a nice restaurant together they and they bring out the juice. cameras. And, yeah, they got cranberry juice. You know, no, that's haram. Like, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You probably, yeah, I, I'm not going to pretend like I know uh, all the tenets of Islam, um, although I respect all the world's religions. Um, but I think we get a nice PR campaign in there. Don't um, fucking listen to him. He was mocking me with the to Orthodox welcome the Saudis. <laughs> I did. Earlier I just today. said that they have the nicest looking churches. He did not. You said it's the one true sect. And you all Christian know why faith. I said that because I lived in Greece. I do and they know. Are the prettiest churches. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Iran would be a disaster. 
And Enron honestly, would be, Enron would be a disaster. But one day, one, they, get, they, get they can up. come over here, okay? They get touched up. I don't know if Iran beats – do they beat Costa Rica? Shion's going to be very upset about that. I don't I, know if I think Iran beats Costa Rica. Take that. I, think, I think Iran beats Costa Rica. It'd be sure. a tough game against the Turks and Caicos. Uh, that's for damn sure. They'd be sweating exactly. bullets. They got the Turks and Caicos. Two to zero. In the Caribbean? Be two penalties, yes. In the Caribbean. No, I think I it's know. one open play and one 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 penalty. <laughs> it's one on one. I don't know. Asmu not doing too hot right now. They really need him. Well, yeah. and the Turks and Caicos. I think he's got zero he's goals in the Bundesliga last time I checked. But Iranians yeah. keep telling me he's the GOAT. I don't understand it. Anyways, let's move on to the two he's African teams blood. that would be invited. So this one's a little weird because we don't have dates for any of this shit. But like I said, the AFCON is happening. So um, I guess we have to assume that the best teams aren't going. Obviously, we'd want to be like I, – I said Ghana and Morocco. Those would be my two teams. Yeah, let's, let's do ideal world. We can cross the who's available okay. bridge when, when we come to it. I would say – Ghana and Morocco. I would say Nigeria, Morocco. Nigeria is Nigeria is such pretenders, dude. They are pretenders. They are pretenders. pretenders. But Give me hear mommy. me out. Open hear me. No, this is two years in the future, though. This is two years in the future. Two years in the future. I feel like there's massive Nigerian uh, at- attention internationally, both because of how nice their kids look, um, and I feel like there's a pretty substantial Nigerian population on, at the very least, social yeah. media. Yeah. I feel yes. like they're pretty solid. That would be a blockbuster nab for this tournament. And you know they'd have some fly ass kits that were designed by some, you know, top tier designer. I but for me, I just I just think that's that's it, you know. I look, I think from a marketing perspective, people might you can disagree with me in the comments. I think there is an advantage to being an African country where English is the primary language as opposed to French. So I think that's a hamper for somebody like Senegal. Also, I just don't see the young talent on Senegal that I do on Ghana right now. Of course, we're a long ways away. This Senegal, they're this their golden generation, they're all in their prime. They could win the next AFCON. But I think it might be like a Croatia kind of like last hurrah type thing. Ghana are very young. A lot of their best players are younger than like 22, 22, 23. So I see them being pretty stacked in 2025. And by 2025, Victor Oziman will have a failed transfer to Man United by that point. And he'll be you, washed. You are a hater. Oh, Damn. So God. either we them or Chelsea. That point. We cannot forget Man City. the future washed Victor Oziman and Man United. He will then leave. He will go to Atletico Madrid where he will resurrect his career. Under Marcelo Gallardo, who will be the new manager this summer, Diego <laughs> Simeone leaves. Honestly. Oh, where do I even start with what you said? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's so much to unpack here. Um, this is it. Uh, Jack just God, you were Alex you were Jones level you were saving here. that just epic tirade of nonsense the whole day. I bet. It's been building for sure. All right, last 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 question, guys. I want to uh, I want to ask you guys, Jake. Give me your answer first. If I am Mexico, Canada, the U.S., or Costa Rica, is Fine. there any part of me that is upset that winning the Gold Cup just got potentially ten times harder? Mm, maybe a small five percent, ten percent of me. Because if I am, like, I want to flex on my North American counterparts. Right. That I beat you. But I think they're all to the point of uh, their evolutions where they need to nut up. And they need experience. Because, I mean, I would argue everyone got embarrassed at the last World Cup. Yeah. Even mm. the Americans, even the Americans, even making it out of the group, they got embarrassed by the Dutch. 
Correct. Do you think that there's a bigger winner? Okay, let me rephrase that question. Who is the biggest winner of this new format? Is it CONCACAF? Is it somebody else? Is it a specific team? It's the top three CONCACAF teams. You think Canada, so? Mexico, U.S. I don't think a Jamaica is looking at this or a Barbados and being like, wow, I'm really excited for Gold Cup 2025 right now. <laughs> yeah, I think the Cubans just shit their pants when they saw this proposal <laughs> released. <Yeah. laughs> They're like, oh my God, we're going to get our ass kicked twice <laughs> yeah. as hard. It's literally going to be Cuba, Argentina, Spain. Yeah. And then like Korea or yeah. something. Well, let's just pray that uh, the Cuban games are all played in Miami or something. Let's pray that they're not nationally televised because I don't want to see. I don't want to see that. Can you imagine watching Italy, Cuba? Oh. That is the danger of this format. We are going to get some bullshit. We are at least one horrible game, like laughably bad game. Argentina. So there's so there's 24 teams. Yeah, 16 Concacaf. I already know the Argentina game. The Argentina game is going to be like Argentina. What fucking Argentina Jamaica. No, Jamaica usually... So, six no, groups no, no, of four. No. So, there's going to be six bad games, minimally. I think Argentina is going to throw yes. in a shitter lineup, and we're going to have to watch Garnacho run it up the fucking wing for about 70 minutes and do fuck all. You better watch your fucking mouth, boy. <laughs> yeah. You better watch that fucking mouth, boy. Garnacho's going to run it up the wing relentlessly. He's not going to do shit, and then he's going to drop out and declare for Spain. By the end of the tournament. Dude, I need I that it. boy to find a nice American girl when he comes over here and give that man a green card. <laughs> that man has a girlfriend and should remain faithful. According to the church doctrine. Uh, the he should remain faithful right according right. to our previous young man, United starlet that uh, didn't have the best uh, advice when it came to girls. So. No, perhaps he was lacking some guidance in his life. That's what it seemed like. At the very least. I might God have. put all of his focus on Rashford and somehow missed out on, uh, dare I say his name. You he who shall not name. be. Uh, he who Cain not be. and Abel. Cain dies, right? Who dies in that? Abel dies. Or, Cain Abel beat. dies? Yeah, because okay. Cain yeah. beats him with a cane. Yeah. Not sure. Ah, anyways. Um, and Abel was not able to make it out alive. Anyway. No. Look, um, I I can't wait for Netherlands Suriname. Sheraldo Becker versus <laughs> Memphis Dubai. It's going to be a banger, dude. Sheraldo Becker. There's a couple of comments I was like, how do you guys not know Sheraldo Becker? It's like, how do I, how would I know him? Yeah. That's hilarious. No one watches Suriname. He only has like three caps or something, and we don't watch the Bundesliga. I'm ready That's for how we don't know big horse, which body the Cuban center backs. I am trying to watch more Bundesliga. I feel I owe it to my last name and my German heritage That's true. that I should have a side. I don't know if it's Union Berlin. Maybe it's a uh, Hertha Berlin because not, uh, not Frankfurt. Frankfurt would be cool. See, like, I don't want to choose someone on the top. Motion Gladbach. Maybe like Colm. Okay, that's pretty hipster. That goat that's logo kind of really kind of beast. That goat logo. It is pretty sucks. good. It is <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is goaded. Wait, what did you say? No, I think I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a fucking goat. <laughs> But it's oh, goat. like a it's goat. goat. Goats smell like shit. You are but when you see a mascot, the first thing that comes in your head isn't like, what would that thing smell like? It is with that one. Is it cool whatever reason, it looks like a Wolves German probably smell like shit too. children's book. You know, like I just am not. It's something. I'm not feeling it. it's, you are such a hater. It's like yeah, a I dark know, children's but... story from the Black Forest. It that's, is. That's yes. That's what it is. One hundred percent. The Brothers Grimm. It's yeah. like uh, uh, Little Bear, you know? I, I don't know. Like, 
Velveteen Rabbit Ass vibes. Look, I, I'm, 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 I'd go with uh, Monkey Gladbach. You can go for Schalke too. They're pretty Schalke. ass. Wolfsburg. No, dude, I can't stand Wolfsburg's jerseys. Why not? Uh, I just don't like the green, dude. I don't like the green. Yeah, it's a weird shade of green. And they'd be changing it a lot. They do. Like they can't it. agree on like a hex color shade of green. No, which really is how I know that even they think it's ass. Yeah, they they, they're, they're trying yeah. to define them. They they're haven't had a personality to... since Draxler left. Yes, he's since washed. KDB was there. He's he's, he's the biggest washed. washed German player. He is of all. washed. Okay, God, scale of one KDB. to ten, how would you grade this format? Ten being impeccable. One being, we might as well just go back to the usual gold cup. I, I'll, I'll give it an eight overall in that I I think it's outstanding. But I also think that the gold cup should be for CONCACAF teams. You know? Oh. No, no, no. No, no. Listen no, to me. Listen no, to, no, you did not. Shut the fuck up, dude. You want to give me no, fucking two seconds so I can talk? <laughs> This is just insane. Go. I'm saying we do this format every other year. Just like the Copa. Why not? It's a North American Invitational, and then the Gold Cup is for us to duke it out. I'm sorry. When I said that the Copa America was a South American tournament, you said, fuck that. I want to see Messi have it in the U.S. But now the Gold Cup is an exclusively North American tournament. Either you've changed your mind or you're a bell end. I didn't say every fucking year. I said every other. That's a lot, dude. You can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, and? That's a lot, and I, dude. Dude, I never said the USA shouldn't be invited to the uh, Copa America. No, you. That's exactly. You said the opposite. You said they should be at the Copa America and it should be in the United States. But he was saying that for selfish reasons, so he could see, so he could see Argentina. Him it personally, matter. can't. It don't matter the reason. It's what he said. Okay, that's that's a twi- it, back. that's a twisting of facts and. I, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think they're the same thing. The Copa. I. I, mm, I don't know. I. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. With like the, the Copa Cup. America has had its share. Like, what? What is the point of this? Copa America uh, or well, fucking Gold Cup expansion if if we're not just going to go back and try and improve CONCACAF overall. When we were arguing the Copa, we were arguing about Money. it, not it being hosted in the States. Yes. Not other nations coming because they because they always invite other nations every other time, right? Two. Sometimes, yes. But they have invited people. They have invited, yes. Has a Gold Cup ever invited people? Yes, Qatar was invited to the last one. But no one gives and a And they're invited to 2023, which is this summer. They're invited again. Trash. Both times. Oh, actually, Brazil was invited a long time ago. They didn't win. Fun fact. So maybe Brazil will be looking to right that wrong. In fact, I think they've been to two. I think they've been to two. Hold on. So Brazil's oh, for boy. sure going to this one. I'm trying to... Oh, Jesus, not CONCACAF.com. Lord, give me the strength. All right, let me see. I'm, I'm looking this shit up. Uh, Colombia's been... Um, yeah, Mexico beat Brazil in the 2003 Gold Cup Final 1-0. They also beat them in the 1996 World Cup... Gold Cup, World Cup. God willing, Gold Cup Final 2-0. Brazil, Colombia, Peru, South Korea... Ecuador, yep, South, South Korea, Africa. South Korea got fourth. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Say, Can you run through them again? Brazil, Colombia, Peru, South Korea, Ecuador, South Africa, Qatar. South Africa. Interesting. Huh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Brazil's been there three times, so is Colombia. Okay. Very cool. So Anyways. they didn't invite people for like 16 years. I wonder why. 
Because it's not like those invitees were winning either. The best people have done is Brazil. We need more context. Like, we need to go back and look. Was it an A team that was sent? You know. Yeah. So, what like was your original question? So One out of 10. Is this a good format? Yeah. I'm going to say it's a 10 just to be different. And I think we're going to need a hell of a test run for the World Cup. And I think this is a perfect one. Is there anything that you would change about it? Like, instead of two teams from everybody, would you just bring over like eight European teams or all of Comable? Or what would you, what would you do? I like anything? two teams from, from the, uh, every other confederation. I... I think – I mean, I'd be okay with only bringing the top eight from CONCACAF and doing like a mm. like a playoff to make those spots. Okay. Just to reduce the amount of games. Okay. Because I would imagine that they're going to mimic like World Cup format with, the, with six groups of four. Yeah, you would think so. Although there's like the talk of the next World Cup being groups of three, but then FIFA was like, no, we want to go back to four because of the drama. So, I, I mean, I don't – they're changing their minds like every other month. I, I don't know what the back and forth. Every, everybody's just wishy-washy. They've so. got dollars in their, in their eyes. That's why. Yeah. And let's not be confused. This Gold Cup, it is for practice. It's also for hella bank. Yes. No. Are you kidding? Dude, the U.S. is going to be so rich. After the Copa America, the Gold Cup, and the World Cup. My God. They're like insulting Ford Mourinho. All just to get Jesse Marsh in as the manager. <sighs> what an awful note to end it on. Please, yeah. God. <laughs> I'll end it on a more positive note. I think that nobody will talk about this because nobody cares about Asia, but I actually think one of the biggest winners are Japan and or any Asian team in general that's invited to this. I think that one yes. of the biggest winners are the Asian teams because Agreed. they don't get to play anybody good yeah. like ever. Yeah. They definitely uh get some get some well-earned uh, experience, you know, on a world stage. I I think Japan could have a really good uh shot to win it. That'd be crazy if they won. That would be crazy. Now, if CONCACAF was real, they would invite India and China. Honestly, China, I'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. You bring over Japan and China? Yeah. I'm Put right them in the that. same group. Put them I in bet the that same would, group. Dude, I bet there would be sold-out stadiums. I would go to that game. Yes. Like, I would not. I would not go to that fucking game. I would wouldn't. not spend my money to go see that game. I would watch Japan play any other fucking game. Definitely not Japan, China. I don't think I'd go to watch any team play China. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end the episode there. You guys, let us know your thoughts on the 2025 Gold Cup down below in the comments. If you're listening on streaming platforms, get the podcast a five star rating and just let us know your general thoughts. Do you think this is a good proposal? Do you think it's gonna actually be a good warm up for the World Cup? And should the Concacaf teams be trying to win is objective number one win or is objective number one to just get some reps against some really good battle hardened teams you guys let us know make sure you also follow us on social media all the links are down below in the description of this video we appreciate you guys for watching or listening and we'll see you in the next episode